Hey guys, welcome back. So last time I finished painting the white, the second color. I let that dry for about an hour and then moved on to masking. Again, I would like to warn you that not all paints are dry after one hour. And if the preparation to the body has not been done properly before painting, you could pull off uh, the paint while removing the masking tape. So before we could obvi obviously start on um, masking off the second part for the red roof, I needed to unmask it and since a lot of you have been asking for me to uh, leave the footage in of unmasking, here you go. Now of course you do not need to unmask uh, this section first before you could move on to then masking it again uh, for the third color, but I just like to be sure that there was no seepage from the white over to the blue. So I just removed the masking tape to see if I made any mistakes and if I did then it would not be necessary to move on to masking it again and painting uh, the third color. I would just need to fix the, uh, the mistakes first before moving on to the next one. So with everything unmasked and looking pretty fantastic, um, I could now move on to masking it again using the same masking tapes from Tamiya. Uh, there are various widths, I just used the 10 and 18 for this one. So just like the last time when I put a piece of masking tape on, I just like to go over the edges, pressing it down with a toothpick or my fingernail just to be absolutely sure that it's all the way down and that seepage will not happen. With the border now masked off, I needed to mask off the rest of the body with some bigger pieces of masking tape and I could then move on to painting the roof in some Lexus Pearl Red. Now I'm doing this with my Harder & Steinbeck 2-in-1 Evolution Airbrush, a 0.4mm needle set at 2.4 bar or 35 psi air pressure with a Eurotech 28 air compressor. Just like any other paint job, I'm starting with the hard to reach, easy to forget spots first. And also an important lesson here, um, when masking off, paint away from the masking tape and not towards the masking tape. If you paint towards the masking tape, it has the tendency to bulk up on the edges 
and uh, fill up the edges a lot more and leaving a nasty edge when removing the masking tape. If you paint away from the masking, you will not fill it up as much and uh, decrease that border a lot. Now it's not always possible to do that, so just be sure to go in thin coats and not cover it too quickly with a heavy coat because that will also ruin it and create a rugged edge. For painting these larger sections, I like to pull the airbrush away from the body a bit further than I usually am and pull the trigger all the way open so that I have maximum paint flow. Um, with pulling it away a bit further from the body, you also will increase the spray fan size so it will cover a lot more area a lot quicker and it will be a lot cleaner because if you would get in closer, it would uh, have a smaller spray fan concentrating on a smaller area leaving a sort of streak. So further away, uh, all the way open, we'll clean it up a bit. After this first coat, let it dry for five minutes and then move on to the second coat, about the same thickness and the same distance from the body. After finishing off this second coat, it was pretty much all the way covered, but I just wanted to be sure that it's fully covered and I won't see any streaks later on because it is such a big surface area. So I will add a third coat, waiting five minutes before spraying that. With this third coat on, I let it dry for about 30 minutes before removing the masking tape. Yes, you could do this a lot earlier, but there is no sense in that as the paint just needs to dry and when you don't let it dry properly enough, you could just leave fingerprints in the fresh paint and that's obviously not what you want. So unmasking it is and then letting it dry for about another 45 minutes before moving on to the decals. it. With this third color finished, I let it dry for about 45 minutes before applying some decals and then moving on to clear coat. In the meantime, be sure to head over to thescalemodeler.com, my online web shop. Also, don't forget to give me a like on Facebook, questions or suggestions, shoot me an email or post a comment. And of course, as always, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys next time.